Well, I'm absolutely thrilled to be uh, in Hong Kong today and to come back. I think uh, the, the most important surprise of the beginning of the year and, and the very good news of the beginning of the year is the fact that China is reopening. That's a very good news for the economy in the region, of course, in Hong Kong, in China, but also the economy worldwide. Um, speaking about uh, Europe, we will still uh, face uh, significant inflation due to the energy crisis uh, for the next uh, six months. So we might have, a hopefully, a, a short one, but might have a short recession uh, uh, first part of the year. Uh, same in the US, there is a very big chance, but uh, I am optimistic for, for, the, for the medium term. I think uh, uh, following this first semester, things are going to be better. As you mentioned, um, now China and Hong Kong basically reopened the border and removed a lot of the COVID restriction. So uh, do you think that is a good timing for Amundi to uh, expand your business in this region? Yes, well, absolutely. I mean, Amundi, uh, uh, anyway, whatever the timing is very committed to the region. We're based in Hong Kong. Uh, we've been based in Hong Kong since uh, since uh, uh, several decades, uh, and uh, this is a very uh, strong base for us. Amundi as a whole is very committed uh, uh, to Asia. Uh, we uh, strongly believe in the strategy of the company that uh, this continent will be the one uh, uh, having the most important growth in the next decade. So uh, uh, whatever the, the, I would say the conjuncture, uh, we, we, we are committed to the, to the region, uh, of course. But specifically right now, of course, we're very happy to, to, to have this great news and I think it will boost uh, the economy of the region. Uh, our economists say that uh, uh, the, the growth uh, in China should be around 4.5% in 2023, so it will be uh, once again one of the nicest places uh, on Earth. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you are an ESG expert, um, that your company has invested in ESG product a long time ago. Can you tell us what is the biggest opportunity and challenge for ESG investment in uh, 2023? Well, um, you know, once again, e e ESG, it's, uh, it, it's a long-term trend. Um, as uh, we are a subsidiary of uh, an, uh, a mutualist bank uh, originally, we believe that our raison d'être is to act every day in favor of our clients, but also of society because of our, of our wealth. Uh, we believe we have a responsibility towards society, towards the environment, uh, but also towards uh, uh, social aspects uh, of the society. So for us, it's not a... Uh, something specific for 2023 is really a long-term trend and we're very happy as we are at the forefront of this uh, of uh, ESG and we already manage uh, more than 800 billion euros uh, responsibly within Amundi. We are very happy uh, to bring uh, the data, the capacity, the process and to help both institutional investors and distributors in the region uh, to uh, increase their ESG investment. So do you think that what is the major challenge for our ESG investment in the medium term? Well, uh, I think uh, ESG, is a, it, it's a question of balance. Uh, what we say is that uh, obviously we are all very focused about, uh, uh, about environment and uh, making sure that uh, we can reach uh, by 2050 uh, uh, the net zero objectives a, a lot of us are committed to. Uh, at the same time, uh, we very much believe that this transition must be a fair transition so that we must uh, take care about uh, the social impact of uh, the environmental decision we make. So this is actually finding the right balance and the right rhythm to reach uh, um, surely uh, this target, which is the most uh, important uh, uh, objective for us. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for joining our program today. Thank you, thank you very much.